I'm going to yield back the balance of this time. Gentleman from California. I yield two minutes to the gentleman from Oregon, Mr. Blumenauer. The gentleman from Oregon is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Miller. I appreciate your courtesy as I appreciate the leadership. Uh, the committee following up on the good work that you did earlier uh, to make sure that we do have schools of the future. The schools are the foundation, the building block of a livable community. And green schools are the schools of the future. It's where America and the world is going in terms of being sustainable, efficient, and healthier. But green schools are also the schools of today. This is an opportunity under this legislation, the 21st Century Green Performing Schools Act, to be able to illustrate our environmental values, that young people who are in school will be able to see through the operation of this legislation that we are going to walk the talk, we're going to implement our values. The provisions of this legislation will save money almost immediately because there's lots of low-hanging fruit indeed in schools across the country in terms of green, sustainable practices. It's not low-hanging fruit. It's picking the fruit up off the ground that will save energy, that will save water, that will be gentler on the land. It will put people to work. This is activity that is amazingly labor-intensive. There are few investments that we can make greening our schools that will make more of a difference for people of all school level, skill levels, whether they are uh, casual laborers, they are skilled efforts, they are professional positions, to be able to make a difference. In the state of Oregon alone, it's 62 badly needed million dollars that not only is going to circulate through the economy, but it's going to do things that school districts need, and it's going to save them money for years to come. I appreciate the fact that the bill includes how young people get to school as part of energy efficiency. A generation ago, virtually every school district in America, more than 50% of our children got to school on their own, walking or riding a bike. Today, the national average is 15%. I work in some communities where it's far less than that. By investing in ways to make young people be able to get to school safely on a bike or walking. We're going to reduce the carbon footprint while we make their footprint a little lighter. We're dealing with an epidemic of childhood obesity, and these provisions cycle back to make young people healthier. Uh, this legislation will make the schools of today the schools of the future, and it will do it in the very near future. I am pleased to support it. I thank the committee for its work. The implementation of this legislation is going to make our community schools truly the, livable, the building block of a livable community and make our families safer, healthier, and more economic. The gentleman's time has expired. The gentleman from California. I yield two minutes to the gentleman from